The Brazilian butt lift is one of the highest risk or most dangerous procedures in plastic surgery. So let me break that down and explain why. So when you hear about patients dying after Brazilian butt lift, be it in the United States or around the world, the most common cause for that death is a fat embolism. What that means is, is the fat that we're injecting into the butt to, in, to improve the, the contour and size of the butt, that fat makes its way into a big vein, which then travels to the heart and the lungs and causes a problem. So once that fat travels to your heart and lungs, it can block blood flow and cause all kinds of problems which can lead to death. So to perform a Brazilian butt lift safely, we first perform safe liposuction, like most plastic surgeons do all the time. You just need to be very careful like you always are doing liposuction. That's the first part of any Brazilian butt lift is sucking out the unwanted fat. That's not the most dangerous part of the procedure according to the autopsies done on these patients who have died after Brazilian butt lift. So what happens after we have the fat is then we graft it or inject the fat into the butt to increase the size and improve the overall contour. To do that safely, you want to inject it with a blunt cannula under low pressure, not in the muscle. It is believed that most of the deaths associated with a Brazilian butt lift involve fat injections in the muscle where the big vessels are and it was likely done with sharper cannulas which were able to penetrate the muscle fascia as well as the veins and under high enough pressure to get the fat to get into the veins and start flowing up to the heart and lungs. So we believe as a plastic surgery community the safest way to perform the Brazilian butt lift is to use blunt cannulas under low pressure and you stay in the subcutaneous fat only. You do not go in the muscle. So I'll show you a video. I have videos out there where I show how I do it. Basically it involves using a large blunt cannula so it is not sharp and with low pressure and we keep the cannula in the subcutaneous plane, meaning I'm under your skin in the fat of your butt, not in the muscle of your butt because the muscle is where the big vessels are and that's what we need to keep the fat cells out of. So it is true that if you inject a bunch of fat in the muscles, we could probably make your butt a little bit bigger, but it is not worth taking the extra risk of dying for. I'll leave it at that. Like there is no way to justify a little bit bigger butt for the extremely increased risk of death and complications from a fat embolism. So find a plastic surgeon who will do a Brazilian butt lift safely. Um, don't find one who prides themselves on injecting a bunch of fat in the muscle to give you the biggest butt possible because it is just not worth the risks. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.